you have to learn to look beyond what you are seeing because most of the times things don't always are not always what they appear to be somebody once said i don't know if it's edison that opportunities usually present themselves in overalls or something like that but what i'm saying here is these are peanut plants when i was a kid we called them ground nuts now these are peanuts we planted this a couple of months ago we've come here to harvest where are the peanuts show me my peanuts are these the peanuts no it don't look like a peanut but we are going to have to dig a little deeper to find where the peanuts are are you ready with me let's do this we have to pull these plants out to get our peanuts Ta -da! here are the peanuts they are ready to be harvested we're going to pull them out like this I have a container here with me I'm going to pick the peanuts from the uh, plant and put them in here so the first step is for me to pull out the peanuts when we finish pulling them out we'll do the next thing of picking them out Planting peanuts because you eat them when you are planting and you eat them while we are harvesting. Usually you can roast or you can just eat them raw. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Delicious. This is one of the reasons I like planting peanuts. Because you can eat them at any time. There you go. Good job. Mm, mm, mm. This peanut So we're going to carry this to a, a shaded area because we're having too much sun here. Then we'll pick up the, the peanut. corn was nursed I don't know three weeks ago I did it because I wanted to beat the heat that we are having in uh, this part of Texas right now I'm going to transplant the corn and because the corn is already you know it's grown to a certain height it's, it's going to be able to put down root without any difficulty now you follow me and see what I'm going to do to plant our fall corn we call it maize or whatever so i'm going to make some holes here and put in the maize you need to do it it's very hot this time of the year so we need to be a little careful else See, when you plant peanuts each time, you're gonna end up having peanuts all the time. Yum, 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 yum. I like this. So,
we are going to put in some water into a spout to make sure that the plant don't struggle to take root. to plant. Easy as it is. Stick it out. No. Nice and steady. So more peanuts coming up. More peanuts coming up. More peanuts coming out. More peanuts coming out. More peanuts coming out. Mm. Left some behind. Yeah, we're gonna have peanuts here for the foreseeable future. More peanuts coming up. Okay, right now we need more water now. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty because you can clean them, you know? It's only not the end of the world when you get your hands dirty, not a thing. Now we're going to water this corn and uh, let it go. You will be surprised when you come here in uh, three weeks. You will not believe your eyes. This corn will take over. We need to allow the water to soak some before we put more. Why? We did not harvest this other peanut because it's not yet ready. We planted this uh, section uh, about uh, two months after the other section was planted. Now, timing is everything. When you are gardening, or you planting anything, you must know the time. If you don't time very well, you harvest your crops when they're not ready, and that will be a big loss. So you have to understand timing. And that applies to your life as well. You need to know the seasons. You need to know when to do stuff. As the, uh, the book of Ecclesiastes says, there's a time for everything under the sun. Time to plant, time to harvest, Time to mourn, time to laugh. You know, there's time for everything under the sun. You must know the timing. If not, you are going to be in deep trouble. Make right. sure you know the time. Yeah, for the next uh, couple of days, I have to come here almost on a daily basis to put water on this corn just to make sure I give them a quick start so they don't get uh, beaten down by the sun. Da -da! Here we go. The end product of our labor. The peanuts are here, ready to go home for the sole purpose of eating. Now that we planted, we earned the right to eat them. 
it's a principle that many people don't understand. Make sure any area of your life that you want success in, go for the principles, not the end product. To get here, we understood that you plant the peanuts, you wait, you time it appropriately, you come, you harvest. Make sure every area of your life, it can be a marriage, finances, relationships, business, you name it. Every area of your life that you want increase, learn the principles. Success always leaves, leaves clues behind for you to follow. Look for other people that are successful and learn the principles. Don't focus on the end result alone. Principles don't respect skin color. Principles don't respect age. Principles don't respect nobody. They don't respect who you are. They walk anywhere in the globe. Thank you for watching. I encourage you to focus on principles and not on the product. The process is what is more important.